5 a.m. in Buffalo, New York. Everything is taken additional, every 50% off clearance for GameStop, which is awesome. So we'll see what gems I find today. So I couldn't record at GameStop, uh, but the following I got, I got a penguin exclusive for 15 bucks. The only issue is that I dig in the corner. Uh, I got Demon, Demon Slayers Chronicles. Monster Hunter, which I'm pretty much going to play right away. Um, unfortunately, it was brand new, but it was gutted, so kind of sucks. And the last game was this game right here. I heard a little bit of good stuff about this. Um, hopefully, it's a hack and slash. I don't know much about it, but the price was $29.99, brand new. Um, so I've heard some good reviews from people about this. Haven't really played it, so I just decided to pick it up. All right, so from GameStop, I got the following games. Uh... Sadly, GameStop was not really good this time around. Last year was buy two, get one, free, or a few years back was buy two, get one free. Um, so the following games I got, Captain Tabasu, Rise of the New Champion, that was $20. I spent a lot of money on Hyrule Warriors, just because this is really hard to find. That was 50 Another pissed off uh, feeling that I get with GameStop is this is uh, a new game. It says brand new, never been used, but it's not sealed. But nevertheless, I'm going to play it. But if you have it brand new, you should keep it new. And this was the only copy in the store, which was stupid because it was on the flyer. It said this was on sale, but they only had one copy for the entire store. I uh, got another God Eater 3. And Dynasty Warriors. So I did spend quite a bit of money uh, in terms of USD versus Canadian dollars. Uh, but that's what I got from GameStop. I had to go to two GameStops uh, after the first one. But still the night time. But I got them for a good deal. Alright folks. I'm going to be picking up a lot of NES complete in box games. Nothing really big that I've seen other than Rampage. Um, but I don't really ever collect NES games, so 100 bucks for the lot. We're gonna take a look at what I get right now. All right. So this was just uh, just the box. Just the box, yeah. Oh, we'll take it. That's fine. Yeah, you can take the box if you want. Sure. Wow. It's just uh, really cool to see these games out in the wild. Yeah, I don't... You don't see them that often. Especially the, 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 the Hogan's Alley, right? Oh, yeah. This is like from 1987, 89, something like that. Around there, yeah. Karate Champs. Okay, Major Baseball League. And then that's the WrestleMania. This is a, this is a classic everyone has. Oh, yeah, I remember um, playing it. But, yeah, it's too bad this didn't have the manual. This was the, the best one. Yeah, All right. by far. And these are just Japanese enemies? Yep. And these are... Uh, Some of these are OBAs. Okay, so none of them are actual like games, right? Um, I guess Japanese. Okay, so we agreed yep. on the price. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, just picked this lot up for $100. All box and complete games. Can't believe I picked them up. This has the tag on the back. So just let me know in the, in the comments. Is this worth any money? All right, folks. So I'm picking up a... Pokemon game, Pokemon Ultra Sun for, th or Ultra Moon that is, for $30. He says he has another Pokemon game for the 3DS, uh, so we'll see what he ends up bringing out. There's the Ultra Moon and a sealed copy of Pokemon Y. Together we agreed on $60. Fantastic deal. Alright, so picked up these games. Uh, yeah, Zelda. Yeah, no worries. You can just take my number down. Yeah, I got your number. You send me a text, right? Just yeah. Send me a text, and I'll take you. I'll take photos of what I can find. No worries. Yeah, I'll send you, you definitely a text. And I picked up that Zelda, and all of this was gonna be for a trade from my good friend Adam. At VGP in the nighttime, almost daylight saving day, so I'm gonna be getting my game that I've been wanting forever, my limited games. We'll take a look at what I get. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, that's going to be coming up, by the way. I've been wanting this game for practically forever, so I bought myself Shredder's Revenge, but I got two of them uh, just because I am an idiot, some people may say. 
but it's made by limited run i'm going to be opening up one and i'm going to be keeping one sealed right here i am i'm going to be picking up some pokemon games right now um the guy has it for 100 bucks so let's take a look at what else he has that he's going to get rid of right so picked all of these guys up um system games yep. and those pokemon games right here all for an awesome price of 175 yeah picked up a random stack of games uh, for $30, ATV Off-Road Fury, nothing really big, uh, SOCOM, Rainbow Six, Ace Combat 5, Watch Dogs, Fallout, SOCOM 2, Getaway, Black Monday, I don't think I have this one, so I might keep this one. Um, UFC Undisputed 09, Spinner Cell Double Agent, Bioshock Infinite, and the best game out a lot for 30 bucks was Scarface. So, not bad for 30 bucks. All right, so I picked up these games right here. Um, Metal Gear Solid being the top one. Vigilant 8 is there. Power Steering Wheel, a PS1, PS1 Steering Wheel. The pedals are there. And the games all for $60 with four remotes. All right, so here's a better look at that pickup I did for $60. I got the PS1. There's four remotes. That's a PS2 remote there, a smoke remote. This one I'm not counting as a remote. That's pretty much going to be uh, donated. Um, what was really nice is I got this multiplayer link for the PS1. Hopefully it can work for the PS2. I hope it can. Because uh, I do want to play X-Men Legends on this. Uh, coming to the games, I'll quickly show you what I got. So here are the following games. Uh, that's an official um, demo. So I got a few demos here. Nothing really good. This is there. Uh, this game's right here as well. There's a few demos right there. So I'm probably going to be keeping this one in the collection. All right. So coming into the games, I have the following. There's Driver right there. Triple Paint 99. NHL 99. Gran Turismo 2. And this game right here. I'm probably going to be trading this because uh, I have played this. It's an okay game, but it's really choppy with the gra graphics. The games I will be keeping in my collection are an NFL Blitz. Um, I have a second copy of this game, but this is a condition upgrade, so Spyro the Dragon is there. Uh, and then I actually don't have the green copy for this, Metal Gear Solid. I have the green copy, but I don't have the black copy, so this is going to be a upgrade. So there's Metal Gear Solid right there. And two games that I'm really excited to add into the collection are Vigilant 8 and the second part of this. Uh, so it's kind of like Twisted Metal with... Uh, more souped up cars you can say so that was for sixty dollars this is a great find this is a completely different pickup as well i didn't get the footage for this but i paid uh forty dollars for everything um shadow of colossus midnight club dt racer vice city sadly none of these games have their manuals which is a big big turn off uh, next game is NBA 2003 and Siphon Filter 2. Superbike Real Racing. FIFA 06. FIFA 07. Smackdown 2009. Smackdown 2007. Crash Bandicoot. Rebel Operation Nighthawk, Stunt Track Challenge, uh, Madden 07, Super Truck Racing. So I'm actually going to keep this game and actually going to play this game uh, just because it's a truck game and you're actually going to be racing with trucks. Medal of Honor, Fast and Furious. I don't have this game. Hopefully... It has the manuals. Yes, it does have the manuals. So this will be added to the collection. This game called Black. Agent Under Fire. Need for Speed. 
Tony Hawk Pro. And sadly, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, the top is warped, has some water damage, uh, but a good game indeed. But this will be traded because it doesn't have a manual, so all that was $40. So if you guys liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This is a Switch Games. Uh, they are growing really fast, um, and I'm going to be heavily collecting for the Switch. As you know, I've been a huge DS and 3ds collector but uh my aim is now shifted towards picking up switch games as cheap as possible so guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys next time